Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 103. In this video, I will be changing the oil in the transmission. This is a Kubota W5021. To change the oil, I have to take the transmission out. To get it out, this cover has to come off. Here's the gear shift lever. And I have to take the wheels off. While I have the wheels off, I'll also grease in the hubs. But first, I'm going to set the back of the lawnmower up on the jack stand so I can work on it. Here we can see the transmission, and there's a drive shaft, and it has a little bit of a slip joint in it. I have to take this brace off here, and there's a cutter pin in there. I'm going to leave the drive shaft attached because it has its own slip joint, and it comes apart. I'm going to have to disconnect the transmission cable and take the wheels off. And if I remember correctly, to get the transmission out, I have to take off the rear adjusters, which is just one bolt and nut per side. Here's one of the rear wheels. This piece engages the rear axle to the wheel. We'll take a look at the other side of the wheel. And this piece just slides in here. Before I put it all back together, I'll clean it and grease it. Here's the bolt that holds the rear wheel height adjustment. Once I take that out, the whole transmission should come out. I got the transmission out. I took the bolt out here that holds that bracket on. Here's the linkage I was showing. I didn't have a replacement cotter pin, so I didn't want to risk breaking it. The engagement cable is still hooked to the transmission, but I disconnected it from the handle. It hooks up just like these other two. I got the transmission out, and I cleaned it off and removed the drain plug. This is the oil that was in there. It's pretty dirty. I'm putting in some Valvoline Synthetic 75W140. The transmission calls for 0.1 quart or 3.2 ounces. I've got this little bottle I use for measuring engine oil for the trimmer. I'll fill it with the gear oil and pour it in there. I've put the oil in. I lost a little bit because it's a sealed transmission and the air was trying to come out. So I ended up using a little syringe here full of oil just to make sure I got enough in there. Now I'll put the plug back in and tighten it down. I'm going to spray it down with brake cleaner to clean it off and then it goes back in. Before I put it in, I'm going to put a little bit of brake caliper grease on the end of the shaft here where it slides into the other part of the shaft. I'll be using this grease as well on the wheels. I'm going to put the transmission in and I'll be back. So to put the wheels together, there's a washer that goes in, and I'm going to put a light coating of grease on this. I've already cleaned it off with brake cleaner, and once I grease it, the wheel goes on. Alright, the wheels are back on, everything's back together, and it works. No leaks. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.